Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about how you can develop metrics based on percentile in Tableau. This video is going to be short and I'm hoping it is also going to be useful. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I dive into Tableau, I wanted to first briefly talk about the concept of percentile. So what is a percentile? A percentile is a measure that used frequently in statistics. It often indicates the value below which a given percentage of observations in a group of observations fall. The nth percentile is a value in the data set contains nth percent of the data. For example, if I wanted to say what is the tenth percentile of certain value in my data set, it actually means the value below which 10th percent of the, my observations can be found in this data set. Now let's take a look at a example. Here in my Excel sheet, I have a column A with a list of scores for 20 students from a specific exam. I wanted to find out the 90th percentile among these scores. What should I do? First, I wanted to rank the scores in a ascending order, meaning from the lowest to the highest. So in here, I'm applying a rank function in Excel. You can see the lowest score is 39 with a rank of 1, and the highest score is 99 with a rank of 20. The scores in the middle are also ranked in a sequential order from lower scores to higher scores. For instance, a score of 68 ranked 7th, and while a score of 90 ranked 15th. So, to answer the question about which score is the 90th percentile score, what should I do? Because I already have the scores ranked in an ascending order, so now I just multiply 20, which is the count of the total scores, by 0.9. And with that, I get 18. So then, what do I do? I look for the 18 in column B, and then look for the score in column A that it is associated with rank 18. So here is my 18, and the score associated it is 97. Is that right? How can I validate it? So luckily in Excel, it is, has a pre-made function called percentile. So if I apply this Excel function and look for the 90th percentile amongst the list of 20 scores of a student, then I get the same answer, 97. So I hope this makes sense and this can help you really understand the concept of percentile. Okay, now let's go to Tableau. I will show you two quick ways to compute percentiles in Tableau, and they are all pretty straightforward. So before I do this, I wanted to quickly show you uh, what the raw data looks like. So here, as you can see, I have a list of customers with their customer ID and how much stuff they have purchased within a given day. So for instance, the first customer has bought 45 items on September 4th, uh, 2019. He made another purchase of 46 items on the next day. Uh, so on and so forth with the rest of the customers. So now I wanted to know how many items my top 90, 70, 50 percent customers buy. And I also wanted to know how many things my bottom 20, 25 percent customer buy in a given day. So what should I do? As you can see, I have a pre-made chart with the percentile breakdowns now I wanted to show you how I can make the exact same chart. Okay, 
So I have opened a blank sheet here. Because my report is by date, I need to drag the report date to the column field. And then I need to change it to continuous. I don't want it to show it by year, but I wanted to show it by day. So I wanted to change the selection from year to day. Now I wanted to drag the metrics into the rows. So for convenience, I'm just going to scroll down the measures pane and drag the measure values to rows. If you do this, then by default, Tableau will pull all the metrics under the measure values. Some of them you may not need them for the visualization, some of them you need them. For me, it is pretty convenient and I can decide uh, which one I wanted, which one I don't want it. Because I wanted to show the percentile for the quantity uh, metric. So under the measure values, you will see that Tableau has already done some default calculation for your existing metric quantity. The default calculation is called sum. Because I don't really want the sum, I want the percentiles, right? So click the small drop down arrow next to the sum quantity. You will see that under measure, this sum is a default selection. But there are other functions that you can change to. Right? And one of them is actually called percentile. And if you hover your mouse around this percentile and there pop up another small window with a list of uh, options ranging from 5 to 95. So you can click one of them and then Tableau will show you, for instance, the nth percentile of the quantity field. Now, why don't we just choose one of the percentile cutoffs? How about let's choose 25? As you can see, the metric has already been updated to PCT25 of quantity. You may want to say, oh, how do I show additional quantity breakdowns? So what you need to do is that you drag the quantity field again to the, onto the measure value pane. Repeat this same exercise, but this time, instead of choosing 25, you want it to change to another value, say 75. And then you say, I want it another percentile breakdown. Let's do this exercise again, and then choose percentile 90. All right, then you have three percentile breakdowns for the quantity metric, 25, 75, 90. You can also see there are like some redundant fields here and I don't really need to show them in my chart. What I need to do is I just remove them. All right, these are my percentile breakdown. They are all currently not looking very great because they're all the same color. You can hardly tell which one is which. So how about let's change the measure names, drop it to color field. you can actually tweak the color. Let's say I want Tableau Classic, and then I want to assign the pane. It will give different colors to each different metric. And you can see the lowest 95 percentile of my customer, how what's the quantity they have purchased. And then there's the 75th percentile and 90th percentile. There is actually another way which does exactly the same thing for you using a slightly different method. So the second way is to apply the percentile function in Tableau to create your own calculated field. Let's say I wanted to find the 80th percentile of quantity sold on a given day. If you wanted to apply this first method, you will soon realize that 80th percentile is not one of the default options that Tableau provided. So using the first method will not give you the answer. Using the second method and create your own calculated field, you can do any percentile breakdown based on your need. Let's try that. I have created a table with report year, quarter, and then quantity 
10th percentile, 5th percentile, 90th percentile, and moving average. Now I wanted to add a, another field called quantity 80th percentile. What should I do? Next to your dimension, there is a small downward arrow. I do we click that and select create calculated field. You want to give your calculated field a meaningful name. I'm going to name it quantity. to apply a percentile function to my quantity field and give it a cutoff of 0 0.8. Quantity. Tableau recognized the correct field and it says the calculation is valid. I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see under measures, my new created field is shown. You need to drag this field to the rows because this is a table I wanted to change it into from continuous to discrete and then put it maybe before the 90th percentile so that it's actually in sequence I'm going to adjust also the column width All right now it looks much better you actually can have more flexibility and choose different cutoff points to compute different percentile ranges. So I already have my chart. Now I have my table. I can actually create a dashboard that combines the chart and the table into one view, just like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. You can also leave your comments and let me know if there are other Tableau features or techniques you would like to know. Thanks.